you started Sick Things UK in 97, am I correct? Yeah, the very end of 97. I launched it on Christmas Day, 1997. And was the whole reason why you started Sick Things, I, I see this thing, this mailing list, FAQ, FAQ kept by Bert Edens, Edens. Who the heck is Bert Edens and why does he have relevance into the Alice Cooper legacy? Oh, well, Hunter Goatley, who's a friend of mine in America, had a mailing list in the old days of email mailing lists all before social media. Before YouTube, yes. Before YouTube, anything like that. You joined Before the Kai was born. <laughs> you, you joined the mailing list and it basically allowed people to send messages to a whole group of people at once. And Hunter um, started the Sick Things mailing list. And that's how a lot of us sort of first came into contact, I suppose. Um, but I found that, I mean, we had Brian Nelson on there as well, Alice's personal assistant. And he was constantly telling everybody they were wrong. Um, and they'd say, oh, I heard this. And uh, Brian would say, don't be an idiot. Anybody that knows anything about the Alice Cooper legacy knows that Brian Renfield Nelson was a huge, huge part of it. Uh, Brian Nelson was there at my first audition with Alice Cooper. He was the one that gave me the most amount of support. And honestly, he was the one that, that came to so many of our uh, sort of shows outside of Alice Cooper. And he would told me once that he goes, you know what, Ryan, you're the only guy that who's, I go see their, his own projects and his own bands outside of Alice Cooper. And it kind of started that way. Then he started to watch the other bands that uh, Alice band members were involved in but yeah much respect to, to the late brian nelson he is a a big uh obviously a big supporter of all of us in that era of alice cooper um 